Fixing genes to cure diseases has been dreamed about for decades, but the techniques have been too expensive, too complex, and too time-consuming to be practical. Until now, enter CRISPR, the revolutionary technology that allows scientists to add or delete specific bits of DNA in cells with incredible accuracy and at a much lower cost. It was discovered in bacteria. In the 1980s, researchers found that bacteria have a system that protects them from viruses. It's called CRISPR. That stands for Clustered, Regularly, Interspaced, Short, Palindromic Repeats. Here's how it works. When a virus attacks a bacteria, it injects its own DNA to kill the bacteria. The bacteria responds by cutting up this DNA and also remembering what it looks like. The bacteria compiles a collection of mugshots of all the bad viruses. Then, if the virus returns, the bacteria recognizes the invading DNA and goes on the attack, cutting it again. This defense system has two parts. Molecules called guide RNA detect and latch onto the invading DNA. An enzyme called Cas9 acts like a pair of molecular scissors cutting out that stretch of DNA. Scientists can enlist this find and cut strategy to their advantage. If there's a piece of DNA they want to get rid of because it causes disease, they can use CRISPR to target it. Then the cell either stitches itself back together or scientists can fix it by inserting a better stretch of DNA. Scientists hope to use CRISPR to treat a wide range of deadly diseases that are caused by bad DNA, like sickle cell disease, cystic fibrosis, and some cancers. Some of these diseases can be treated just by cutting out the bad DNA. In other diseases, the bad DNA is not just cut out, but also replaced by good DNA. CRISPR could offer a one-time fix for patients with incurable disorders, ending a lifetime of suffering.